Yo what's up guys welcome to my new video today we are doing a simple and easy stinger transition for your stream we are not doing a crazy transition for your stream just a simple one for all you beginners trying to create one for your streams if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's get right into the video alright the first thing you need to understand is how the transition works so here we have the gameplay the transition basically helps you switch the scenes seamlessly so without the transition it looks like this so very weird and just snappy and when we add the transition it looks like this and that is what we will be creating today so let's get right into it all right guys the first thing we need to do is create a new composition so click new composition make it 1920 by 1080 uh, make the frame rate 60 frames per second and uh, make the duration three seconds that will be just enough Next thing we need to create some shapes so create three solid shapes using three different colors I'm going to use pink for this tutorial White as well And another solid I will make it dark gray After we have that enable motion blur on all three layers select them all and now let's resize them let me show you with the white one on top uh, resize them so make them bigger like this and rotate them to a 45 degree angle okay so let's rearrange them from the one that's going to appear first and the one that's going to be latest so i'm going to make the pink one first dark gray second and white the last just like they're already here the next thing we need to do is drag them to the bottom right outside the frame and create a position keyframe on the first one so that would be the pink one and then drag the frame to the two second mark and create another keyframe and drag that pink one to the other side all the way outside the frame after that select both keyframes and click f9 for easy easing so that looks like this after you've done that we need to copy and paste the keyframes on the other layers as well so you do that by selecting the keyframes pasting them on both of the layers next thing we need to do is delay the keyframes or the animation from the second layer so we can do that by selecting the keyframes and dragging it let's say three frames to the right and let's select the keyframes on the white one and drag it three frames after the second one so one two three so they're all delayed a little bit now let's play it like this all right we can delay them a bit more so let's select it and one two i'm going to move this one as well so one two three one two okay same distance okay that looks good now let's select the keyframes on the first solid go to the speed graph if you don't see it just click on here and click edit speed graph select the left anchor point and drag it to the right all the way to the right and do that step for all the other layers as well so to the right and this one all the way to the right and well, let's play it now that's it that's perfect you need to make sure that a couple of frames are covering the screen so you can uh, switch scenes in your streaming software so we have a couple of frames here and that should be enough in case you want to show your logo on the transition just add it into after effects as well center it like this uh, then change the color so we will go here layer styles color overlay Go to color overlay and let's make it let's say we want it to be this pink color right here select it and uh, let's see it should appear somewhere around here so we want to copy this white layer we want the white layer to reveal it so copy the white layer and paste it on top of the logo open this uh, menu right here so click expand or collapse the transfer controls panel and click on this one and click alpha matte white solid we need to track mat it with the white shape on top of it so now when we play it it will reveal the logo and make it 
disappear as well okay guys so now i'm going to show you how to export it so click file export and add to adobe media encoder queue wait for it to load when it opens up just click on this when this window pops up just click on this and select the webm as the format here select where you want to save it and here you will see the file size the smaller the file size the less load your pc will have while streaming so you will want to keep that as low as possible and just click ok and click render okay guys this is how the transition looks uh, this was just a really simple tutorial for you really short video but if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe i will leave all the download links in the description as always and see you guys in the next one peace